That's because I like the whole oh, shit because it was about to fall. That's why. Beginner, okay? I'm a beginner. This is an entire process. For me, at least. Figuring out how to be comfortable with myself under these circumstances. I can think about what's gonna happen in the future. That freaks me out. I can think about what's happening right now. That freaks me out. I can talk about things that I hope happen, which are great, but I hate talking about things that I hope will happen. Like, I like talking about things that I hope will happen, but I like making things happen. I have a lot of things to say and that I have been thinking and that I was hoping to be able to put out there. And I feel, I just feel weird because I feel like a lot of people on the internet have really consistent personalities, have like figured out their niche and whatever. Or even if they don't, they know what they like and they do that. So they do it. And I'm like, I want to do that. I don't know. I want to do stuff that's cool. So I try and do stuff, but then also like recording yourself while you're doing stuff. That's weird. Why am I putting the pressure of feeling like people are watching me? You know, that's weird. I already feel like people are watching me. So why am I just letting people watch me? I'm like, well, because people are already watching me. So I'm like, Look, this is me just taking down my receipts, so... I wanted to tell you, cause... <sighs> this is what I do. <laughs> I'm like, is that marketable? And I'm like, that's weird. <laughs> Why put yourself under the pressure of trying to figure out if my existence is marketable? Right back around to really wanting people to like me. Oh, crazy how that all connects. Damn it. I have so many things that I want to say, though. I'm like, I could fucking utilize this platform. I have things to say and character when I say them. I've always thought about starting a podcast or maybe a YouTube channel, but mostly like a podcast. So I'm like, that way people can't see my face or my surroundings and people will like, it'll be pretty anonymous, even though like I have an Instagram presence, whatever. But for the most part, if it's a podcast, you will never have the ability to see my face. I feel like if you decided to put on earbuds and just listen, you wouldn't have to watch what I'm doing to understand what I'm saying but it does enhance the experience. And I'm like, am I do- I get, Then you get like imposter syndrome. I'm like, is this, am I, am I only, am I only acting like this because I'm in front of a camera? Am I only, am I, am I just a fake? Am I, is everything I do just to please everyone around me? And it's never to just, live as my best self and I am only here to please others and my existence is for nothing and if people don't like me then I'm not worth anything ha 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 you know so <laughs> yes you know so it's fine you know so, you know, so you just, and you move right on. So, but, but, I just really, I think deep down, like to talk but I hate to hear myself talk. I hate to look at myself when I talk. I hate to look at myself in general. I hate the sound of my voice. I hate the look 
of myself other than my outfits, which like would tie it all together, you know? Be like, it's fine, cause uh, this channel can like only be a moment. And see, like what I'm talking about, like I guess cause, cause the purpose is, the intent is to put it on YouTube, right? So I can talk about like my channel, but I'm like, well, what am I talking about my channel? I don't have a channel. <gasps> what? <sighs> What's a channel? Who's a channel? Who's Chanel? I know. Yeah, I know that brand. Fast fashion isn't really my thing, but... And that's something I could talk about on my channel. Wow, but... I don't have a channel. I could be like, like and subscribe, or I don't have a channel. <laughs> that's a little... <laughs> aggressive. <laughs> Alright, so tying it back to... Why did I even turn this on and try to go through the process and what's going on? It's been a while since I even produced a content. What's going on? You know, but then I was watching Lily Singh's video in her experience on dating apps and it was the most wholesome content. I was so excited. I love Lily Singh. She was like one of the YouTubers that I watched. Like, I didn't really watch YouTube much. I had friends that were really into YouTube, but I didn't really have internet like that as a kid. So, I didn't really watch like YouTubers. Like, I didn't watch people's personalities online. So I watched her and a couple other, but mostly like, I watched like cosplay music videos and like music videos in general. That was what I used YouTube for as a kid. Uh, oh, and watching sequels to Disney movies because those used to be free, my guy. You could find a bunch of full length, especially the sequel, The Little Mermaid 2, The Lion King 2, The Lion King 1 and a half. There was another one. Lady in the Tramp, The Adventures of Scamp. Yeah, I'd be watching sequels. But then they started, you know, turning all that shit down. Um, <laughs> so, but I didn't watch personalities. Like, so for Lily Singh and like Nikihiga, <laughs> that kind of era, you know. I kind of lost touch with old YouTubers that I was watching. I would only really listened to music or listen to audiobooks on YouTube. Still, I still don't really watch YouTubers. Then I got into, like, costuming and fashion and shit so much that I started following people. And I got into, like, queer theory and, like, trying to find communities that I really identify with in real life and wanted to expand that to when I'm on YouTube because I realized I do spend a lot of time, like, watching music videos so I could watch people's content. So I've been trying to find content that I like and a lot of the mainstream content I don't really like so I was like there's nothing for me but that I just had to look a little harder but that's okay because then I ended up finding some cool shit so then there was some point recently when I was thinking oh no what if I've outgrown Lily Singh like I love her comedy and her skits and whatever but i had literally seen everything on her channel everything i was like oh no like i've already seen all these like eight times and it's not that i don't like it it's just i've seen them all like, I, don't know. I know i know this stuff i think of it and, you know, it's kind of like i could keep watching it. and i mean like i could watch her vlogs but i don't care about nobody's vlogs <laughs> i don't care for the shaky camera i don't care for all the I don't like all of this nonsense. Like, I do love a dynamic camera angle. Like, I do, I do <laughs> appreciate- Whoa, I just switched up the whole thing on you. Oh, shit. I can appreciate a uh, walk and talk, okay? But that was the thing with trying to record on my phone, is that's usually where people do recording now. Um is on their phones, but I got, well, you know, Samsung. And this is like good Samsung quality. This camera is like whatever, top notch. Samsung phone camera is like, people are like, wow, how fucking old is your phone? I'm like, it, excuse me. Even though like my, 
I can take some bomb-ass pictures if I'm in the right lighting. But as soon as the lighting gets bad, like, it's over for everyone. Like my sweatshirt, I got it at the Crayola store before I stopped shopping at stores. So, I'm not usually into that. Well, I don't like shaky phone. I don't like that as content, and I don't like doing it. It feels unnatural. It feels like, I don't know, like, I don't like it. Having dynamic camera angles is amazing. I love that. Switching your shit up, going from like here to here to here, over here, over here. Magic of editing. If you can do it upside down, like that, you know. So, you made it to the end. Congratulations. Very proud of you. I don't know why there isn't a proper ending to this video, but it is weeks later, and I am finally getting around to editing and posting this video. So, let us rejoice, and follow me. Subscribe, like, support me, DM me to figure out ways that you can help support me, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed your time here in the chaos.